Hey guys, what is up? Server 420 here, and welcome to The Walking Dead Season 1. Uh, this is... This was a pretty popular game. It's got a second season out right now that uh, everyone seems to be loving, and I want to get onto that, but I want to record it, so... Didn't feel right, unless we gotta do the first one for... We have to go through the first season. So, let's just go follow the tale of Lee Everett. Also, 400, day, 400 days DLC will probably be done, too. The Walking Dead. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Sorry. <laughs> um, you know what they say about reckoning? Does it really matter? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Subtitles! Now wait. Audio. No. Gameplay. Subtitles. Uh, not for me. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough. Sure. That's how you gonna be. Also, this is not my first time through the game. Uh, at least not for case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Up to the third third episode of this season, it's not blind. I know what's going on. Oh shit! You're from making boy. Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the seventies. Always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Little do you know. This is I the apocalypse. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Sure. God. I was honestly saying Regardless, sure. Could be you just married the wrong woman. Uh, fuck you. No, <laughs> Zombie apocalypse behind us. In case you didn't figure that out already. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Oh yeah. That's nice. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. 
That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. Um, this one's a little bit there's a man on the road. More hilarious if there's I a, there's so. a, oh shit, you're the... God, would we fall off a cliff? It doesn't matter, I think I broke everything. <laughs> I'm sure everything's fine, just go back to sleep. You so thirsty. My leg. Officer. Hey. Hey, officer. Are you all right? I'm broken. I'm still back here. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Yes. All right, let's kick this shit. Bump this shit. Bump it. Bop it. You know, this police car window isn't as sturdy as I, I think it should be. Drag myself out that window. Yes, you do. Oh, I have to move towards it. Let's go. Freedom! Now I can go murder more people. <laughs> yes. Genius. Little do I know, my leg is apparently shattered into like a thousand pieces. Officer, officer, my leg is broken. I mean, you don't seem like you can help. I'm pretty sure you're like dead. But uh, but it still hurts. I need to complain to somebody. Please grab the shotgun shell. Thank you. Officer? Missa? Missa, you okay? I need these keys. Oh, thank you. Free- oh. Freedom! Officer. Officer. Please. Please, why you do this, officer? Officer, please. Please, no. Please. Shotgun! Shotgun! What the fuck? So the game crashed. Not sure why. Officer. Now you get to watch this again. Me scoot back. Me fail at loading the shoddy. Get away from me! Grab the shotgun! Don't make me 
Nah, I'm gonna do it. Go team. Hi, Clementine. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! You know, she's really casual about all this. I just blew a guy's head off. Gotta go fast. Wait, there is no going fast. My leg's fucked up. Man, this game is really loud. Alrighty, now all we gotta do is hop the fence. Easy, right? Oh, wait. We got this, we got this. Your life depends on hopping this fence. It's still really loud. I think I'm gonna need to lower that. I'm sure you're fine. Hello? Anybody? Okay, now let's let it, let's lower these audio settings a bit more. Uh, voice you can go down to five and then we'll lower the rest down to three. Okay. My leg is bleeding! Send help! Auto walk, since I'm too lazy. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. I'm going inside. This is my house now. This is my swamp. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? Not an intruder, or one of them. Oh no. These people might need more help than I do. I don't know. My leg hurts pretty bad. Plastic bowl of fruit. What's this button do? Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, Ow. this is Diana. We're in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 